Hey guys, Jake and Stacy here with MacCraft. Today we want to talk to you guys about our push buttons. So we've got a couple different push buttons here, our standard push buttons, ligature resistant, and then different mounting options for either deck mount or backsplash mount uh, for your fixture. So this is our standard push button. It comes with a non-tapered push button to actuate the valve. It comes with an escutcheon, and it comes with this gray pod. Additionally, we have a handicap offering. So the gray pod is standard, um, and the uh, white pod is a handicap pod that requires less than five pounds to actuate uh, the valve. So uh, just a little bit lighter on the push button there. Additionally, uh, and what I would consider our standard push button offering is um, a retrofit option. So this is a tapered push button for ligature resistant applications. Um, it takes a different hole size um, than our typical Hemi push buttons, uh, but this is a great option if you are trying to retrofit your existing Metcraft fixture to a, uh, to a ligature resistant type application. So all three of these take what we call a single D um, hole, which means it has one flat spot on the side, and then the rest of the hole is round. Uh, these take a different, uh, a double D hole, and so it's important to note the difference between these two. So next we have our ligature resistant push buttons. These are different from our standard push buttons in that they have a raised discussion along with a rounded hemispherical push button itself. They also require a double D hole. Um, so our single D over here is for our standard push buttons, and it has one flat side. Our double D hole has two flat sides for the ligature resistant push buttons. So we have two different options whenever it comes to mounting push buttons. We have deck mount and backsplash mount. The difference is on a backsplash mount push button, the shank or the threaded portion is smaller that goes into the push button versus a deck mount has a longer shank that goes into the push button. These are really designed to go down into a countertop uh, to replace some kind of gooseneck faucet or what have you for a ligature resistant application. Um, on the backsplash mount, we call it a backsplash mount, but in certain conditions or certain situations, we'll uh, say a front mount combi. Uh, for an example, we would mount the push buttons in the body. So they're just designed to go on a vertical plane, I guess, as to where the deck mount's designed to go on a horizontal plane. Sometimes you don't have enough room behind the fixture or um, you just don't have enough room to attach the, the pod actuator to the back of the push button. Um, that type of situation, we would probably go to our push button extension. So this is not used for anchoring or to secure any type of fixture. It's purely an extension to get our pod actuator into the chase to activate our valve. Uh, these right here are our number 35 valve anchors. Um, they are to, re, uh, to secure a fixture to the wall. Uh, we use these a lot in replacements, uh, replacement lavatories, like China replacement lavatories. Those types of fixtures are secured to the wall with the push buttons. So in this type of situation, uh, we would use our number 35 valve anchor. We have a, a backstop basically uh, with a jam washer and some bolts to secure it to the wall. Moving on down the line, we offer some retrofit options for our push buttons uh, to meet up with not only old style Metcraft units, but also uh, different manufacturers push buttons. So essentially how these work is there is an adapter that mounts onto the back of the backsplash. Uh, so you would keep your existing push button, you would keep your existing punching from that manufacturer. Um, and this adapter would then allow you to have the Metcraft pod along with the Metcraft valve assembly down in the unit um, to match up with this. So, uh, you know, if you have a older style Metcraft or an Acorn Willoughby uh, replacement, this would be where you could take that existing fixture, retrofit it, and start using Metcraft uh, new style valves.